And it's interesting because a lot of the red pill community also say that, well, feminism is the thing which is destroying the nuclear family, right? But then certain parts of the red pill community are advocating for this kind of uh, relationship type for younger men to advocate and admire, which also destroys the nuclear family and the idea of being a father or a responsible father or to even want to attain to be a father in the later stages of life. So this is something also that it's advocating in a paradoxical way. So it's very much possibly doing the same thing. And in that sense, you could say that it's an advocation for the production of narcissists in our modern culture, in society, uh, in society today, which is very worrying. And this is another thing which I find very fascinating about love and about the human condition and about the divinity of man in the greatest landscape of existence is that man is obviously, and mankind, humans, obviously different from animals. We're obviously different in that sense, in the way that love makes us different, the ability to fall in love and to have, you could say, that, that process itself of falling in love and being in love and having love for that other individual is something in which is divinely given to us by God. If we're going to go back to biblical scripture, if we're going to go back to the religious spiritual perspective. Because we're not just animals, we're not just biological creatures, we're obviously a lot different from biological creatures because we've built civilizations. We're very much different. We're very much more profound in that sense than just normal animals that shag each other on the street or in nature. You know, it's very much fundamentally different. And the existence of love and matrimony and union of the opposites between two individuals makes that very clear to me in my perspective. And to take that away or to take that, that away itself strips back the civilizations in which we have built. A lot of the civilizations in which we've built have been based on this idea of matrimony between the opposites to create a nuclear family, to create the family structure. And then by doing that, we create a support system of a shared value, which is in itself ingrained within the idea of compassion and empathy, which then allows us to build civilizations in which we now exist in. But the narcissist, if we are to breed narcissists, then the only thing in which narcissists can relate on is the element of being a narcissist. And therefore, if that exists, or if that is maintained and promoted, then the idea of, the idea of even civilization and the shared value structure in which it was built on, it's not only changed, but also to not act as a supporting structure for people in society and in communities. This is why religion was so powerful. The idea of matrimony, union, compassion, empathy. But the narcissist doesn't experience compassion or empathy in that sense for the other or for the, the potential partner in which he may be in or she may be in. Well, you've got to think about that. If the individual who is always seeking polygamy or is in that relationship structure with other individuals, can they truly fall in love? And this idea or this promotion of this kind of narcissistic lifestyle on a sexual level is only going to proliferate the amount of narcissism within our society today, because it is very negative, I would say. I'd say that the situation in which we are in today when it comes to consumerism, when it comes to egocentric thinking, the existence of the persona, the inability to be vulnerable, the, the lack of empathy and compassion in which other people have for other people in general, the chasing of career and status, all of these things is very much not cohesive to a society which deems other people on a same shared value, which is of compassion and empathy. There, there seems to be a lack in that. Hey guys, so just a quick update on my own society. We have sold out on over 50% of the seats, so if you still want to get involved, 
book in a free consultation call with me down below. I'll run you down with what it is all about, or me or one of my colleagues will do so, and we can see if you are a perfect fit to the program. So I look forward to talking to you, and I'll see you on the inside.